Hello people, in this video we want to look at the investigations management for heart failure. Okay, so far what have we looked at? We have looked at what heart failure is. We have looked at the causes of heart failure, correct? Mechanism of heart failure. We have looked at uh, acute, chronic, why it happens. So causes, basically we have looked at causes. In the next video we looked at the clinical features. Acute, what clinical features are there, will be there. Then chronic, in chronic you will have compensatory, it will be trying to compensate, right? So there will be peripheral edema, cardiac cachexia, skeletal muscle atrophy, all that will be there. Then we saw what the features of left, uh, right heart failure and left heart failure are, clinical features basically. Right, then we looked at um, the NYHA classification of the breathlessness for uh, cardiac activity, right. Then we saw the clinical features even for the complications, right. Now we have to look at the treatment. So we'll start off with the investigation. So you will perform CT uh, chest x-ray for all cases. So you will see what will you see in this um, chest x-ray. You will there will be pulmonary edema that you already know, isn't it? Pulmonary edema will be there. So here they are, this x-ray, what they are showing you here, this has pulmonary edema, okay. In B, what are they showing you? Enlargement of lungs base showing septal or curly B lines, okay. You can see septal or curly B lines, curly, curly, curly B lines, okay. So basically what are these? Thickened interlobular septa, the interlobular septa between the lobules, septa is thickened and there will be dilated lymphatics. So what is curly B lines? We will write this pulmonary edema, then we will write curly B lines. This is because of thickened interlobular septa and dilated lymphatics. Dilated lymphatics, I think that should be fine. How will this appear? Curly B lines, they will appear as horizontal lines in the costophrenic angle okay so these are septal or curly b lines curly in this first image what are they showing here enlarged cardiac sillhout usually with coexisting chronic cardiac failure look at this cardiac sillhout uh, can you see it guys so basically what is sillhout sillhout is dark shape or outline of someone or something visible in restricted light okay They are saying there is alveolar edema till the level of, see they are showing, you can see alveolar edema. Okay, pleural effusion have they told. So basically, the next thing you want to do is echo. Okay, in echo, well, what will you see? I am thinking you should see left ventricular hypertrophy, any valvular conditions, all that you should be able to see, right? Valves you should be able to see. Then you should be able to see any stenosis. Yeah, that's again valves only, right? Then you should be able to see any left ventricular hypertrophy. Shouldn't you be able to see that? They didn't write that, but. What else you want to check, guys? Sh shouldn't you check whether the kidney is fine? Urea, creatinine levels they are checking. Electrolytes they are checking. If the person has anemia or not, you are checking. If the person has thyroid proper, thyroid function is normal. If they have thyroid toxicosis, you can check. BNP, very important is brain natriuretic peptide. In this, you know what will happen? It, it will tell you. It's a prognostic marker. So, it will tell you how uh, the prognosis of this person will be. Okay. One thing I don't understand why they are not checking for MI. See, MI and all, what you will check? You will check troponin, right? Cardiac specific troponin. Then serum, uh, what is that? Creatine phosphokinase, right? CKP. Creatine phosphokinase. This is very important, right? CKMD, is it? Let's look at that. Yeah, this and all you should be able to check, right? Cardiac specific troponin, CKMD, creatine phosphokinase, then lactate dehydrogenase, then myoglobin. All these, uh, you should be able to check. Shouldn't you check for uh, heart failure, all this? If the person has had a heart attack, all that we should check. Okay, now let us go to... Treatment guys, now first let us look at acute heart, heart failure, how you will treat, okay. It's an emergency pulmonary edema, he's in respiratory distress, right. So you will ask him to rest, then you will uh, make the patient sit up. If he sits up, uh, uh, venous return to heart will reduce, right. If he sleep only, venous return will be increased. So sit up, high flow oxygen, positive airway pressure. Let him breathe nicely oxygen. Give him nitrates. What nitrates? Glyceryl trinitrate and buccal glyceryl trinitrate. IV and buccal. They are giving two methods of glyceryl trinitrate. It will reduce the preload and the afterload. What will nitrate do? Vasodilation. Preload and afterload will reduce. Okay. 
<coughs> then um, loop diuretic, loop diuretic uh, like furosemide you can use. Now what will it do? It will reduce the fluid overload. All the water will go out from the body. That's what you want, right? Now after this also it doesn't work. Then you can give the person dobutamine. Dobutamine etc. You will give if there is hypotension, right? And then intra aortic balloon pump etc. Now once this episode settles down, then you can uh, tell the patient, see, uh, you should uh, stop alcohol, stop smoking, you should exercise, you should take vaccination against some of these infections, right? And self-help strategies, you know, you have to tell these people, okay? Now let us go on to chronic. Chronic heart failure, what and all you do? Again, education they have put first here because it's chronic condition they have learned, their body will compensate and they have learned to live with it kind of thing, right? So let us look at this. Um, drug treatment, what drugs will you give these people? Please learn the names. Basically, di uh, hypertension treatment only, same thing. Diuretics, AC inhibitors, ARPs, names you want, right? Let's give the names for you. AC inhibitors like Elenapril, Elenapril, Ramipril and all we'll remember. ARBs like Losartan, Valsartan, etc. Then uh, beta blockers like Bisoprolol, please remember, Bisoprolol, okay? In another place, they have told that beta blocker can cause problem, right? Bisoprolol, okay? Beta blocker is bisoprolol. What did you see for ACE inhibitor? Uh, Ramipril. What was the first one? Elenapril, yeah. Enalapril, sorry, enalapril. Enalapril, ramipril. Enalapril, ramipril. Losartan. I remember, tell me sartan, but they wrote something else here. Vasodilators. What is vasodilator? Is it nitrate vasodilator? Then bisoprolol, we told you. Eva bradine. Bradine. Sounds nice. Bradine. What is this? Eva bradine. This works on some SA node, it works. Works on SA node in the heart. Sinoatrial node. Okay. It will reduce heart rate. Eva bradine. So it will cause bradycardia. That makes sense, right? Bradine, bradycardia. It will reduce heart rate. Digoxin. Digoxin will do what? It will pump with more force, right? Amiodarone, antiarrhythmic. Very good. So, you know all these standard drugs. You will give all this in chronic. Chronic conditions only you will give all this. Okay. Did you see ACE inhibitors and ARBs in acute? In acute, they didn't talk about that. Acute only nitrate and diuretic also they are giving. Nitrate and diuretic is there in acute. But in chronic, apart from this diuretic and nitrate, they are giving ACE inhibitors, ARBs, uh, beta blockers, evabradine, digoxin, amiodarone, etc. Okay. And what you can tell these people? You tell these people you can have an implantable cardiac defibrillator. So you can see inside this man's heart or a woman's heart, there is... Uh, a defibrillator. So basically it will, uh, if the rhythm is not right, if there is arrhythmia, it will fix it, right? So resynchronization devices, etc. for this chronic heart failure management. Okay, people. So these are the drugs. So for old age people, what they are telling, AC inhibitors and loop diuretics you can give. For old age people, AC inhibitors like Ramipril, Enalapril, loop diuretics like furosemide or potassium sparing, whatever you need. Okay. So that's it guys. In this video, what did we look at? We looked at the investigations and treatment of um, heart failure. Basically, you should do chest x-ray. You will see curly B lines, pulmonary edema, alveolar edema. You will see then uh, in echocardiography, you can study the valves and the heart hypertrophy, etc. Serum, urine, urea, creatinine, electrolytes, hemoglobin, thyroid function test, brain natriuretic peptide, proponin, that is cardio spe cardiac specific troponin, C, T, C, N, T, is it? How do you write this? C, T, N, it is. C, T, N, like this, small n, okay? Only T is capital, troponin. C, K, M, B, is creatine uh, phosphokinase uh, M, B, okay? M is what? Muscle, brain, that thing, okay? Then you will, how will you treat heart failure? Acute means you will, uh, emergency, you will uh, want to treat the pulmonary edema. You will make the patient sit up so that uh, renus return will reduce. You give the person high flow oxygen, positive pressure ventilation. Then you will give nitrites, glycerol nitrate IV. You will also give buccal glycerol nitrate. How much glycerol nitrate if you want to know? 10 to uh, 200 microgram per minute they are giving. 
Buckley they are giving my milligram if you can remember. Furosemide they are giving uh, IV. Okay, and after this, if it still doesn't settle down, okay, you can give them um, a dobutamine if they have hypotension. Intra aortic balloon pump. Okay. Uh, all this you can do and then uh, once this episode settles out tell them to stop uh, smoking alcohol and all that and uh, self uh, how to manage they have told then chronic heart failure if they have again education tell them how to uh, how to manage what is the education part here let's look at it again wait what is the education part of it educate the patients about the and the relatives about the causes for heart failure and improve the you know they should be taking diuretic therapy correctly and all that. Otherwise, if they don't take, there will be uh, acute on chronic heart failure. F focus, guys. Drug treatments, diuretics, AC inhibitors like enalapril, ramipril, ARBs like losartan, vasodilators, nitrates, beta blockers like bisoprolol, uh, beta adrenoreceptor blockers, they are saying. Uh, Eva bradine, which will uh, reduce the heart rate, um, uh, digoxin, amiodarone, am antiarrhythmic. Then uh, you can give them a defibrillator resynchronization device. Okay. So this completes the for old people they are giving AC inhibitors and loop diuretics same thing loop diuretics diuretics and AC inhibitors okay so this completes our uh, complete uh, discussion on heart failure in multiple videos we have covered multiple things okay bye bye.